All right, hello everybody. It is Coach Scythe, your coach of the. I was gonna say a different team, the um, Atlanta Braviaries. I forget my team name sometimes. Bringing to you, Let Week Six. This is the only way I could bring you Let Week Six because for some reason, the video wants to freeze randomly. Don't know why. Um, so it's going to be a post commentary that I recreated myself on Showdown um, with the help of Blue Braviary Girl, who is our opponent for this week, who sent me the pace. So shout out to Blue Braviary Girl coming in clutch. Um, so we're taking on her and her Chicago Braviaries for an epic week six, six matchup. Uh, it's the Battle of the Braviaries this time around. So let's go ahead and get into it. First, we're going to switch sides. So. Um, in the original battle, I was kind of uh, the the reason the video is so like bad is because there's no audio from my mic. There's game audio, but there's no my mic audio because I thought it was tweaking, so I muted it. Um, apparently, it just wasn't. Um, but I was trying to figure out that out during team preview, and I ended up not being able to pick my mons in time, so I ended up actually leading with Darmanitan. Um, cause the game just automatically, automatically made me lead with Dimanitan and they live with Jirachi. So I'm okay with this. I fire off the easy flare blitz as they go for the stealth rocks. Um, so that's a dead Jirachi. Jirachi's out of the way. And they bring in Keldeo, obviously the obvious switch in, but I go into Rotom Wash, who is a bulky, fast Rotom Wash. Um, has enough speed to outspeed a non scuff Braviary. Um, and they just go for the Scald. It does a decent amount of damage, but I get Leftover's Recovery. And here, I just go for the Thunderbolt as they switch out into Draco's Ult, which is a really good switch in. Um, now, this is like the close... Okay, so I've done this so many times. I want to say, I've tried to recreate the game so many times. But there were a couple of like little hacksy Pokemon RNG stuff. Um, so this was like the closest thing I was actually ever able to get. Anyways, so I go into my Rune Regis as they go for the high horsepower and they miss. That was That's something that actually happened within the actual game. So I'm happy that I didn't have to take a high horsepower um, in, for, from, for Rune. Like Rune didn't have to take it in the, 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 the recreation of the game. And so I go for an easy earthquake as they go into Lycanroc. This is actually what they did. I know I said I recreated it with myself, but this is the actual game like this is basically exactly the same thing right all right so let's continue so they go into keldeo and it's pretty clear they're firing off a squad i go back and i wrote them wash now they do go for the squad drops me down to like 46 percent now expecting them to go back into draco's ult i actually double here so they do go into draco's ult and i double out into guard of war so my prediction is right and i just fire off the quick and easy moon blast but they switch into their togekiss who can actually tank the uh what is it called the moon blast very well i go for it again as they as you see go for the thunder wave they they land and i go for another moon blast taking out the togekiss it wasn't a crit in the actual battle but it didn't matter so this is where i need to do a little bit of explaining so keldeo goes for a combine this actually happened moon blast right now i have to switch out here because i'm not trying to rely on a crit hacks or something like that in the actual battle Keldeo got a crit on my Gardevoir, and that caused Gardevoir to die. Crit mattered in that scenario 100%, um, and I know that from the countless time I've tried to recreate it. So I just decided to go Nerve in here and fire off a Toxic with the Keldeo, because that's what they had on their Mon, um, and you know it doesn't really matter. So I go for the Quick and Easy Air Slash to take out the Keldeo. And they go for they go into Draco's ult, and you'll see why Toxic doesn't matter later. Um, so I should have been able to tell that Draco's ult was a scarfed Pokemon, but I did not, and I just decided to go for the Draco Meteor. Now this is something that did not happen in the actual game, um, as you can see, Dragon Claw missed, and Draco Meteor also missed. So I was really happy that both of those attacks missed. Um, that didn't actually happen. And so now we're back on track. We take a little bit of toxic damage. Doesn't matter though, as Dragon Claw just kills me either way from full, yada yada. So I go into my Rune Regis and I fire off an Earthquake. Um, as they go for another Dragon Claw and I absolutely eat that like an absolute monster. So I go for another Earthquake and Rune Regis has nothing to hit the Braviary because Rune Regis set is Earthquake, Portugeist, Willow Wisp, and Stealth Rocks. And obviously it's a normal flying type. I can't hit it with either moves. So they go into Braviary, and I hard swap into Rotom Wash. Um, they go for the quick and easy Brave Bird, and it knocks me down to 7%. 
Um, but bring him back up to 13 with leftovers recovery. They live the Thunderbolt and get to go for the superpower. So, I know I won the game here because Dorm is scarfed and Dorm has Rock Slide. I click Rock Slide and I win the game fairly easily. So, that's that. I win 3-0 because remember Gardevoir is technically considered dead because of how um, hacks played out. They got a crit on guard with, uh, with Keldeo with the Scald and that took out guard um, and crit ha mattered 100%. So I win 3-0 with Necrozma, Runerigus, and Darmanitan left. Um, this puts me in actually a really nice spot for playoffs. Also, this video is very slow. Um, or very short, actually. It's a five-minute video, but it's okay. Um, so this puts me in a really good spot for playoffs, actually. Or a decent spot. Um, because the person who I'm sort of in combatants with when it comes to play, like good playoff seedings, lost their match. So there's that. Um, I take home the 3-0 win, like I said, and this boosts me up to 3-3 three to three with a plus 2 differential, if I'm not mistaken. The standings haven't been updated yet, so I don't know. Um, but I'm really happy. We got the 3-3, we got to 3-3, and we're in a pretty decent spot to make playoffs. I need to win next game, probably, in order to be certain that I'm locked. But other than that, I think I'm good. Um, and also, yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> I just need to win next week, hopefully. Um, but next week, we are taking on Nude, if that's how you pronounce his name. <laughs> Uh, not spelled the way you might think, and his Obsidian Ops again, so it should be a fun match. He has a pretty scary team, obviously, uh, but we will see that next week, hopefully, because um, I know they've been having some scheduling issues, but I don't know. So, with that being said, I'm going to get up on out of here. Um, thank you for uh, joining me for week six. Eva, I'm sorry that it was not on the battle. I'm sorry that the video had to be as weird as it was. It was not my fault, technically. Um, out of my control. Anyways, I'm gonna get up on out of here. Thank you for watching. Really glad I was able to pull home the w pull home the win. Um, so I'm Scythe, your coach, the Atlanta Baby Rays. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.